In today's hack, I'll be showing you how to downgrade or install custom firmware on the PlayStation Portable on the 1000, which is the Fat, and the Slim, which is the 2000. This won't work on the Go or the 3000. You're going to need some software to make your magic memory stick. You're also going to need a .pbp file. I also like to use PSP Grader. Then you're going to need a memory stick in which you can install the software. You're also going to need a Pandora's battery. You can make your own or you can buy one. The one here in white is for the slim. The one in black is for the fat. There are some slim models with which this hack will not work. Make sure you have the correct hardware. Next, put the memory stick in your PSP, connect it to your computer, set it to USB mode. The next thing you want to do is on your computer, you want to run the PSP grader. What will happen is it will recognize your memory stick on your PSP. You can see here, you also want to set the format the memory stick. Then you want to click Create Pandora Stick. Remember that .pdp file I showed you at the beginning? It's going to need to be in the same directory as your PSP grader, otherwise you'll get that message. Once the PSP grader has found that file, this will become disabled. Also remember this left trigger button. It'll come into play later. Then click Create Pandora Stick and a dialog will pop up with the progress of the stick creation. Once the stick has been created, a message will pop up saying that it is finished. The next thing to do is to close that program and unplug your PSP from your computer. Bring your hand over to the left trigger button. Take out your normal battery and put in the Pandora battery and it will automatically start up. Next, you're going to want to select the top item, which is to install the custom firmware. It's going to show you that it's formatting the flash, and when it finishes, it'll prompt you to shut down or reboot. I like to shut down. Once your PSP is shut down, you're almost done. You're going to want to remove your Pandora battery and your flash memory. Then you want to turn it back on, go into your system settings and system information, and you'll see that you've installed custom firmware, and that's how you do it.